Valerie, we're here to talk about the robotics zeitgeist. Now, robotics has already seen pretty good growth, particularly over the last 10 years. So what's the growth potential as we look ahead? Oh, it's still staggering, uh, Giles. And actually, I can see four areas of really new development. Um, one is industrial robots moving into cobots. Uh, the second one is domestic robots also picking up quite nicely. And uh, the third one is all what we call the personal co robots, not to mention the fourth one, chatbots. Well, now just let's explore that in a bit more detail. What are these cobots in, in industry? Well, this is what is going to happen and, and arrive in, in the factory floor. These are robots that are working with humans and interacting with them. We're not talking about just arms, big arms that are not uh, mobile and cannot uh, and have to be stuck behind barriers. We're talking really with those interacting machines, uh, completely safe and helping humans in a totally different way, which means a lot of reorganization also on the production line. I love it. So the robot is, is really now the friend of the human rather than somebody that kind of replaces the human being. Oh, absolutely. I think that's what we're talking about. And then in, in the, the household robots, what, what do we have in mind there? Well, there again, I mean, there's been really very interesting developments and also the costs have come down dramatically. We were talking thousands of dollars to acquire a new vacuum cleaner and you were not sure whether it was working or not. But now we have you know, prices in the hundreds of dollars, even s lower prices, and you can have that at home and it works pretty well. It can be, of course, programmed while you're not around. So it's, it's very easy, and that's only one example of those. I think I might be getting one, actually, but I uh, want one too. <laughs> to clean my carpet or whatever. And then what about the personal care ones? Now, this is the big area also of development. I think this has also a stage of research partly and also a stage of application already. And of course, there Japan is really much in the fore because of all the application for elderly and disabled people. And we're talking robots, companion robots. Uh, we're talking helping out uh, uh, people not only physically but also mentally I mean the, w there's a lot of research about that including you know robots reading your face and and helping you with your memory and all these things so this is a totally new area of development mm -hmm. and it's coming there I think that's brilliant actually really mm -hmm. good and then the chatbots just kind of help you with those phone calls that you make to a call center as it were exactly yeah. I mean uh, it, it seems like it's uh, really something people are not happy with all the time but it's becoming to a point that when you have a dialogue via the internet questioning this and that you get actually a robot answering you but to a much more sophisticated type of answers and questions that you can get and what about the total scale i mean how big is the growth potential over the next it's huge. I mean, we're talking uh, within the next 10 years about $1.2 trillion worth of investment. That's about a 35% on an, on an annual base uh, uh, growth. So that's a lot uh, to come. And I don't think there is another sector where you expect this kind of growth. Now, what about the actual investment opportunities? Can, can you invest? What, what are the vehicles? What's the performance been? <laughs> It's, um, that's where you have to be, of course, cautious, but there are uh, some indexes that really cover general and specific companies and uh, really cover the kind of the robotic world in a way where you can feel quite comfortable to invest. What is interesting is these indexes have had a very good performance in the past 10 years. They really plateaued and had a setback after 2014. I believe there was a bit of a cyclical there, especially because it was very linked to the auto industry but now I think is a good moment to get back in uh, benefit from these new technological advances and also the willingness to invest further into that technology so really a pretty good entry point into this zeitgeist I think so Valerie thank you very much